and hello once again and today I'm going to be talking about a gaming company yes a gaming company the oldest third party gaming company gaming publisher whatever you want to call them um, and that's Activision they're 40 years old Activision um, I don't usually do this but I've actually got Wikipedia up so I can find out a little bit more information yes I do know that um, Wikipedia is not always 100% correct but I'm not going to go through the entire Wikipedia talking to you about Activision no I'm not doing that um, all I can tell you what I'm going to tell you is just pretty much the basics um, so founded in right when it was, it was founded 1st of October 1979 I would have been five years old um, I do believe they first started making games or yeah the third party company they started making games on the Atari VCS the 2600 and they pretty much made games on virtually every gaming console and home computer possible and they're still going today obviously making like the, sh um, the Call of Duty games a, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go into every game they make because they've made so many games I know they're still making games now but I do know they do it they did the Call of Duty or doing the Call of Duty so I'm there probably they are doing other games but me not being such an enthusiastic modern gamer I don't know what else they're doing I particularly don't care <laughs> um, right but I will ask the question if you think when you think of Activision what is the first game you think of now this is um, for retro gamers for modern gamers you know when you see the, the that um, the Activision logo which has not changed since 1979 they're still using the same logo which is their name Activision um, what is the first game that comes to mind when you see Activision mine would always be Ghostbusters because Ghostbusters is the first ever game I owned by Activision back when I had my Amstrad CPC 464 I always think Ghostbusters the computer game Activision because I did have the Activision version back in the day not the the re when they um, when Mastertronic got it and they repackaged it and made it a budget title and put it in a little just a basic normal cassette box I had uh, the old plastic the horrible plastic or it ain't plastic it was a, some other material that other material that used to break all the time it wasn't plastic it was just I can't remember what it's called now but it had um, the, like the clamshell thing you had the cassette inside with the manual uh, well not manual it was just a fold out thing I think it was yeah but, um, the three Ghostbusters on the front of the cover not what's his name not the fourth coming in like I can't remember what his name is now I should know I, I watched the film so many times now I can't remember the character um, the fourth Ghostbuster when it comes in later yeah it's just got basically got the three main Dan Aykroyd Bill Murray and God, now what's his name Spangler oh Harold Ramis that's it Harold Ramis the three they were the three main Ghostbusters um, yeah it's got that on the cover always remember that Ghostbusters you know when I think of Ghostbusters Activision yes um, I feel I did have a few Activision titles I mean Afterburner um, that was a good version on the Amstrad CPC I remember the big box massive box I took a, I took a risk buying that game actually after burner knowing how bad outrun was but that was US gold so yeah US gold great on the Commodore 64 rubbish everywhere else um, but some did slip through the net we're not talking about US gold we're talking about Activision yeah what else was there I had, um, I had a few games but I think 
I don't know after but because I remember the box there was a few others um uh, was it power drift the power was power I don't know I'm not sure or was that someone else I can't remember um yeah but you know they made some good games they really have made some good games and 40 years 40 years of Activision they're still going they're still going um right so who were the founders david crane he he was the one that made ghostbusters on the commodore 64 david crane larry kaplan or kaplan alan miller bob whitehead and jim levy um right i'm just looking actually so parent company is blizzard so it's known as activision blizzard Right, so that was oh, that was two thousand and eight and present. So it's known as Activision and Blizzard. Yeah, their parent company. Hang on, why does it say predecessor there then? Oh, I don't know. So I don't understand how this works on it. So how? Yeah, so it, it's still Activision. You see, it doesn't. It just says on the box still Activision. Yeah. So yeah, just. Just the one question. What was, when you think of Activision, what game sticks out the most? So as I say, mine will always be Ghostbusters. Because I'm pretty sure that was the first active it was, it was the first Activision game I ever owned. But I always think of Ghostbusters and Activision. Um, but 40 years, that's quite an achievement. Anyway. I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.